Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I redo a video that I have done before and it is only eating ready meals slash microwave meals for the day. I have done it about a year ago now, but I've kind of been going through my comments and obviously writing down the ones that you guys have requested. So this was one that was quite highly requested. So I thought I would give it another go. Obviously you guys want to see it. So yeah, we're going to be spending the day eating ready meals whether it be microwave or ones that you stab and quickly put in the oven quite excited so i hope you guys are too and i hope you enjoyed this one if you do as always please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to my channel but let's get straight into it and see what i had for breakfast good morning so it's time for breakfast obviously that's usually what happens in the morning and if i'm honest i'm quite excited to have my breakfast a little midweek treat so this morning I picked up, and I didn't pick it up this morning, I picked it up the other day. I picked up a microwave all day breakfast. So this is from Asda. And in there we've got baked beans, potato hash browns, and an egg omelette with pork sausages and beef protein castings and bacon rashers. So you can either, I'm gonna do everything in the microwave today. Yeah, because that's basically the, idea of it is it's all microwave meals or ready meals isn't it so you can just oh i don't want to tip it up actually i don't want the beans to go everywhere just so you know you can either put it in the microwave for six minutes or in the oven for 30 sometimes i do like putting the ready meals in the oven because like if they've got cheese on the top it comes out a bit crispier doesn't it but this it doesn't matter i'm just going to pop it in the microwave so here it is the lovely looking i don't want to tip it up too much because of the beans but i think they might be oh no it's fine I just didn't want the beans to go all down here. So we've got our omelette, the hash browns, we've got two of them. Beans and sausages, there is bacon as well. I don't know if you can see it, there's bacon behind that omelette. So what have we got to do? Stab it, I guess. I'm really excited. Surely it's going to be really good. Fingers crossed anyway. My breakfast is served. <laughs> what are we thinking? What, is it, what do you think? Bacon, a bit fatty. I haven't obviously tasted anything yet. Egg looks all right. This, I don't know. Sorry, it's steaming up. That is literally the uncrispiest hash brown I've ever seen in my life. So, also, I just want to say, if talking about calories triggers you or anything, can you just skip for like 10 seconds? The calories in this, 749 calories in this. I think that is loads. Oh my gosh, I'm really shocked at that. <laughs> I suppose it's a fry up, but I don't know, I just think that's loads. Anyway, let's go for hash brown because I feel like this is going to be the worst part. I just want to get it out of the way. There's literally no crisp to that whatsoever. It's very tasty. I do like the taste of that, but I suppose if you're going to cook it in the microwave, it's not going to crisp up, is it? So that would have been good to cook in the oven. Right, go for a sausage. What's this going to be like? Um, right, I'm a plain sausage kind of person. Let me just get the actual thing and I just want to read to see what sort of flavour these are. Mm -hmm. It just says beef, uh, pork sausages with beef casing, I think it said. But there's like, I don't want to bring it up because it's in kind of in bean juice, so it's drip. But there's little bits of like green bits on it like herby sort of stuff. I'm not a herby sausage type of person. I will literally have the standard cheapest sort of sausage. But you know, it's tasty. I still like it. Beans are good, but you can't really go wrong with beans. Let's have a bit of this omelette. Mm. I was gonna say it smells eggy, but you know, point the obvious out there. Mm. I, they said it's an egg omelette I feel like it literally is just egg there's like nothing else in it don't even know if they put salt and pepper in that <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of this bacon but I already feel like it's, it's going to be alright but I would prefer it crispier ooh it's very chewy very chewy ooh. right so that is my verdict on each little bit I'm gonna sit here and finish eating it because there's not really much I need to 
chat about because it's the morning i feel like my brain hasn't woken up yet so i will save you having to listen to me talking crap overall i do like this i probably would get it again if i got it again i would cook it in the oven make it all crispy but yeah i will see you for some lunch okie dokie right it's time for some lunch i'm gonna say breakfast it's time for some lunch if i'm honest i'm not like starving hungry obviously because that food did fill me up but uh i can eat it's a few hours later so i can eat so i've got two little bits for my lunch obviously because i've done this video before i've tried to kind of choose ones that i haven't had and in that sort of thing i've also tried to go for meals that i haven't actually had before not just in with a video with you just so i you know firstly because i want to and like how it's boring isn't it if i've had it before what's the point so yeah that's what we're going to do so for lunch i'm really excited for this one i've got two meals from asda their essential range so actually all of today's meals i've picked up from asda so this one is the asda essentials chips and curry sauce i'm very excited I have already opened it earlier because i just wanted to see what it was like i didn't know if it was like one thing in there and it's literally this one these both of these are frozen by the way they, they came frozen so yeah literally cheese chips covered in curry sauce so this one microwave for 10 minutes or oven cook for 50. now i did say in the when i was having my breakfast that i'm gonna do it all in the microwave i feel like i might regret it with this, this one because i feel like it will go soggy but it tells me that it can be done in the microwave so pop that in the microwave for 10 minutes and then also i've got these cheese and bean bakes so these ones obviously like i said also frozen oh you can only oven cook these sorry guys shall i oven cook them both i'm gonna oven cook them both sorry don't hate me i'm gonna oven cook them both because i just feel like in the microwave it's gonna go soggy you know when you microwave chips anyway like i don't know if you've come in a bit late and someone's already cooked your dinner and you need to shove it in the microwave chips are not a good thing to go in the microwave so yeah that's what i'm going to do so the chips go in for 50 minutes and these go in for 25 so i'm going to have one of these and obviously all of this so see you in a little bit for what looks like a very good lunch lunch is served that looks really small i don't know why it's looking really small it's not it's i don't know um not so appetizing maybe appealing yeah looks like a it doesn't look like curry sauce and chips that i would pick anyway and this is very puffy but let's, let me cut it with you and then i will prop you up and we can eat i need to cut it open because otherwise that will literally burn my mouth um there's not much filling in there i'm gonna have to say but let me prop you up and we'll eat it we'll still give it a good try um also video that i put up on wednesday you guys if you watched it you guys would have seen that i did my lashes they're still going strong really pleased with them so today is at, when did i do them? No, i did them tuesday night yeah i did them tuesday night the video was on wednesday and today it is thursday so i know that's not long but for ones that you get at home you know but they're still going well so if anyone's interested i know sorry if you can hear that actually let me just shut the window sorry there's a plane going past then uh yeah i know someone commented saying that they've been influenced because of me so anyone else if you were on the on the fence they're very good right i'm gonna go for some curry sauce and chips first on first look obviously it doesn't look great but the chips are very mushy yeah anyway we're just gonna give it a go it's bloody boiling but yeah they're, they're potatoey not like they're really potatoey and mushy they are tasty though but the curry sauce of that when i think of chips and curry sauce i think of like if you're gonna get it from the fish and chips shop that doesn't taste like fish and chip curry sauce sorry what's in my eye now i know it isn't fish and chip curry sauce they're not trying they're not saying chip shop but that tastes more like this is gonna sound silly it tastes more like a curry 
on my chips rather than curry sauce and don't say that's the same thing because it's not it's nice though i do like it really hot right let's go and try <clears throat> very airy cheese and bean melt oh my god there's no way that they can be saying that's a cheese and bean melt i reckon there's about two spoonfuls of cheesy beans there we're gonna give it a go but still try it i feel like i actually can't taste any of the cheesy beans there's a little bit more in that section there let's try that one pick up my hands but mainly look at the amount of pastry compared to the sort the cheesy beans the flavor is actually quite nice it's really really hot the flavor is nice but there's just not enough of it honestly i reckon they've got a spoonful i've cut it into like quarters i reckon there's a teaspoonful in every quarter i wouldn't rate that yeah no and it's a bit too hard and flaky for my liking i've never had a cheesy bean thing from greg's and more of like a che uh, chicken one but i think they have the same sort of pastry as the chicken one the pastry there is way better than this obviously it's kind of gonna be anyway mm, i suppose but this is like hard and really flaky whereas that's kind of a little bit soggier which is my kind of thing not really impressed with that i'm gonna sit and finish this because like as you can probably tell it's really really hot so i'm just coughing down for the sake of it probably wouldn't buy either of them again i will finish the pack of the cheesy baked things baked bean things but i 100 would not get that again i just think that's ridiculous the amount of sauce that's actually in there I don't know, but yeah, I'm going to sit and finish and enjoy my lunch. And I will see you, I don't obviously have any snacks, so see you for dinner. It's time for some dinner. I'm going to put, I was going to say I'm going to start making dinner. Start making, it's going to take about five minutes. So dinner I'm not really looking forward to. I didn't choose this. I ordered it through Asda Delivery and they had to swap it with something it mustn't be in stock so i did order a sausage and mash microwave sausage and mash the only reason i did that my go-to sort of microwave meal would definitely be pasta and 100 percent this one this is the one that i'm actually giving josh for his dinner tonight because i thought if i'm having a microwave meal then i'm not cooking properly for you so he's having that chicken and bacon 100 percent cheesy you know that is my thing the reason i wanted to have the sausage and mash is purely because i just wondered what it would actually be like like a sausage and mash cooked i don't know to me that just sounded, it sounded weird it's not weird now that i'm talking about it they didn't have it so they substituted it with cottage pie tender british minced beef in a warming gravy beneath buttery mash so it would be nice i know it'd be nice there you go it looks pretty there you go there's your little bit of mash and how long's it taking the microwave five minutes so I'm going to pop that in, but yeah, I'm just, it's, cottage pie isn't a bit of me. I like it, but you know, anyway, I'm going to pop it in the oven. We can sit down in five minutes and eat it. Do I have bread? No, I was going to have, hmm, wait, that was a lot of things in my mind then. <laughs> you could literally hear what, like the whole thing that was going to process of what was going on in my mind just came out. Shall I have bread or not? I'm not sure. That's not really very much, is it, to eat? I'm gonna make some garlic bread for Josh. So yeah, I'll have some bread, so yeah. Either way, you probably didn't care. The bread's not being done in the microwave. See in a sec. Right, here we are. Here's dinner. Let me move it closer to you so you can see. It looks all right, to be fair. It's not like I dislike it. I don't really think that I dislike it. It's just not really something that I would ever choose. But that's kind of what I was trying to do in today's video. Anyway. I wouldn't just, it's like meals that I wouldn't usually sort of pick as a ready meal. Will I ever learn to A, wait a little bit before I eat some food, so I don't burn my mouth, and B, when I realise it's hot, not taste it. So it seems like I put it in my mouth and I'm like, oh, that's hot, and I carry on and I burn my tongue. I'm going to try this mashed potato. I did, as you can see, do myself a bit of bread and butter. Is anyone watching Love Island? Who out of you guys watches Love Island? And if you don't watch Love Island, don't start saying in the comments, Love Island's awful, blah, blah, blah. 
I never understand how people that say stuff like that. Not just about Love Island, I'm not just like defending Love Island, like don't say that. I mean like, if people don't watch stuff and then say it's rubbish, like how can you say that if you've never watched it? Like Harry Potter, Josh has never watched it and he says, I ain't watching it, it's rubbish. You can't even say that. You do not have the rights to say that. <laughs> so the people that say Love Island's rubbish and you've never watched it, you're wrong. I love the summer Love Island. Never watched the winter one, I don't know why. I think it's the weather here. If it's cold, rainy, and I'm eating loads of crap food on the sofa, I don't want to watch them go load of good looking girls in bikinis in the sun. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, I love it. What is it, like a weekend? Yeah, I think it is. I think it started last Monday. Love it. I'm actually really enjoying this. It is, I won't lie, it is making me really hot because it's such a hot food. Not spicy hot, like temperature hot. It's, it's quite warm, but that's my fault, I suppose. I need to have a salad for dinner one day. Like, salad, as in not a bowl of like, lettucey sort of salad. You know the salads your mum and dad used to do when you were younger? Like, a bit of coleslaw, new potatoes, a bit of meat spring onions they're good salads aren't they a bit of quiche <laughs> anyway i am going to finish this on my own because like i say it's making me quite warm so i want to kind of chill eating it so i will see you for the final part of the day for some pudding so it's finally time for the best part of the day why is that light suddenly doing that those lights up there I placed you there this morning and all of a sudden it's decided to do like a little thing down at me. My lights have never, they haven't moved, I don't understand. Hang on. Why is it doing that? Anyway, shall I show you what I'm going to have a put in? So, I have picked up a pud in a mug. A mug cake, basically. So, I've got a sticky toffee sponge. Basically, you add milk for a quick and easy, delicious treat. So add 60 millilitres of semi-skimmed semi milk, which is about four tablespoons, into a 250ml jug, enter the contents into a mug and stir until smooth. Put it in the microwave for 50 seconds. Let's get cooking. So I've got my L mug, OVS. And for anyone who hasn't seen something like this before, don't mind my uh, cardboard that needs to go into the recycling. It's literally a little powder, so we're going to put it into here, and then let's get some milk. Oops, I put 70 in. It's because I'm not concentrating. Right, I'm going to mix this up, pop it in the microwave. Right, proof is in the pudding. Looks nice. <laughs> right, let me pop you up. Let's try it. So, as you could see, very like very squidgy sorry it's hard to eat this and be able to show you at the same time can you see in there <laughs> sorry right let's give it let's give it a go nah let's not give that a go that is absolutely roasting hot i don't like the smell of that Sounds a bit like dog. <laughs> like a bit of a wet dog. I want to get a big spoonful, but it's really hot. I'm 50-50. As I keep spoonful and going for more. The texture is like rubbery, but not rubbery at the same time. It's like squidgy. I quite, mm, do I like it? I don't like it, don't dislike it. I really can't describe that texture to you. It is, it's like squidgy, but rubbery and not rubbery at the same time. I'm not great at this sort of stuff, am I? It's not got a really strong taste either. It's not giving sticky toffee pudding. But for a pudding, for an easy 50 second pudding, it's not too bad. So I'm actually gonna go enjoy that on sofa because you probably don't wanna see me Stood here for five minutes blowing on a cake and eating it all. 
and I've just eaten a little bit that's too big and I can feel it going down my throat now so that's fab anyway as that was the pudding that is the end of my day today so as always I hope you guys have enjoyed this one if you have please don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here but that's all for now so I am going to sit on the sofa and finish my mug cake and I will see you in my next video